another video and today I'm going to be doing something slightly different. This is not the type of video that I'm used to doing or posting on my channel. So this is going to be, instead of a vegan like lifestyle type of video, this is actually going to be a DIY video. So I'm going to be doing a Ikea, uh, Ikea hack to this table here. It turned out awesome. I did the first one. I loved it and I said, you know what, I'm going to share this. I have to because it's awesome. It's less than 20 bucks to 20 bucks around there depending on how much you purchase your things for. But um, I'm going to post below a link for the little uh, feet of the table. And yeah, so basically if you guys like these type of videos, let me know because I plan on doing a DIY series on top of all the other usual vegan, uh, vegan chatter and vegan recipe stuff that I usually make. So let me know what you guys think down below, and yeah, go ahead and keep on watching. All right, guys, so for this tutorial, you're going to need a handy-dandy drill. Then you're also going to need some table legs. I used seven and a half inch tapered wood table legs, and I, um, they were raw wood, and I spray-painted them gold. You can make them any color you like, and I will post the link down below for you guys to check it out. Um, and you will also need four screws. The appropriate length to match the wood that you're using you're gonna need paint to match your table I took one of the legs into Home Depot and they matched the color for me and I'm using a sandpaper and this is the 100 grit you're also gonna need a sponge brush and Mia wanted to show you her water bottles but you won't need that also obviously you're gonna need a piece of wood a square piece of wood to match the size of your table and of course a lack IKEA side table $7.99 is what I paid for the table so I'm gonna go ahead and get started by pouring on my paint I'm sure this is not the right way to do it but this kind of wood just sucks up the paint really really good and I've learned that I just kind of just plop it on and spread it around and it works really well for me I'm sure that's not how you're supposed to do it but it works so so be it I went ahead and poured a little bit more paint at the bottom because I just needed a little more on there. And then I'm also going to get the edges. Don't forget to paint the edges. So I let my first coat dry for about 30 35 minutes it dried up pretty fast and then I went ahead and layered a second coat you're gonna go ahead and put the wood on the bottom of the table you flip the table upside down and you make sure that it's positioned exactly like edge to edge on the bottom of the table legs you're gonna need your screws and your drill what I'm doing here is drilling a hole in each corner just to make it easier for the screws to go in small holes it's just I'm basically making an indentation of where I want the screw to go in Next you're going to want to go ahead and screw in all the screws into the four corners. Make sure that it's lined up with the edge. So once you have all four screws lined up, you're going to need your table legs. And I'm just kind of eyeballing it. I'm measuring it with my finger. I'm using the second knuckle of my finger to the tip of my nail and that's where I'm going to make uh, the hole to put the actual table leg into I'm just kind of wiggling it around to make the hole wider um, I would recommend putting glue on on your table legs I didn't put it on mine 
um, because I had run out I had ran out but I do plan on going back in and putting some glue but I would recommend putting some glue on the actual uh, table leg screw or in the hole before you screw it in to make sure it's nice and secure once all the holes are drilled you're gonna go ahead and screw the table legs on and the reason I made the holes beforehand is because these table legs did not come with a pointed uh, screw see right here I actually didn't get the hole wide enough so I had to go back in and re-drill it Once you have all of your legs on, you can go ahead and flip that baby upside down and this is how pretty it looks. So you can decorate it, make it all pretty and nice and there you have it. Also, I DIY'd that little lamp sitting on top of the table. If you guys are interested in seeing it, let me know. Alright guys, so that's it. Let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing more DIY videos because I'm constantly doing DIYs and I would love to film it and post it so you guys can watch and get inspiration too. So. Again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye!